Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my new video. And today I will show you how to attach a decorative cord to a fabric, creating a certain ornament or a certain print. You can use this technique for attaching a decorative cord and creating a special design on uh, any of your garment pieces, on uh, accessories like bags, for example, or in home textile design, for example, on pillows. And first I will transfer the lines from the print pattern or from the mold to the fabric. And I will use a piece of bar soap for transferring these lines. So then when I finish and I will steam already finished pattern with the iron, these lines will simply disappear from the steam. So for attaching a cord, you can use any presser foot that has a little pass in the middle of the bottom surface. See, this is, for example, satin stitch presser foot. This is uh, round bead presser foot. It has the biggest, the biggest opening here, like the widest path, the deepest path in the middle of the surface, of the bottom surface. And another one that you can also use, it's a braiding presser foot. It also has a little pass in the middle of the surface. See? So our cord can fit inside while we attaching it to the fabric. Since my cord is not very round and doesn't have this volume, I can use this one or for satin stitch also. But if your cord is um, like much thicker, having bigger volume, you can then use something with a bigger opening, like for attaching beads, for example. You see? then it will fit inside. For my cord, it's a little bit too too big. It will be just very loose inside while stitching. So I will use the satin stitch presser foot. It has enough opening for my cord. And also satin stitch is made for very smooth stitching on the top of the satin fabric. So I will go with this presser foot and I will stitch this cord, attach it around of the already transferred line. I will install it. So I will begin from this place over here and I will go like in the in infinite stitch around all this line and finish also at this uh, at, at the same point. So when you are touching a cord, try to do it with the one infinite stitch all around the drawn lines. So you will not have this stitching parts of the cord along um, of the ornament. I will fix it in the very beginning. Also, if it will be easier for you or your cord is more um, kind of silky, then you can attach it with the pins, with the like control spots. Let's say it will be like a marks control marks for you through which you will be stitching, then you will be ensured that your cord is fixed at a certain place, at a certain line. My cord is not very silky, it's actually holding its uh, position very well, so I will not attach it at other places, just in the beginning. And I will be stitching with a zigzag stitch, with the almost the widest um, option, so my zigzag will be covering the entire width of the cord. So when I come to the turning point, I will turn my fabric and then with the cord I will just bend it, you see, to create an angle at the top, at the very, very top uh, point. Uh. 
So then when I come back to the beginning, I will turn my fabric again. I will fold the cord again, making a straight like a corner. And then I will continue along of the middle line and go to the one side or to the another side. Also, while stitching, you need to kind of constantly give tension to the lower um, layer, like to the fabric, so it will not be gathered along of a seam. So the goal is to create a one infinite line from the cord while attaching it. So then we will have just one connecting point when we begin it and we will finish at the same spot. So now I will finish attaching the cord at the same spot where I started. And at the end I will just stitch straight stitching almost at the one uh, spot, just to fix. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's almost ready. We just need to stitch these horizontal short lines. That's it. Now I will iron it from the wrong side. And if you use soap, don't forget to steam it a little bit from the top surface, so then the soap lines will disappear. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, leave me a comment, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye!